gon' chew me, cause the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. Let's start with the mob reviews. First one we got is Trouble in Paradise. What you got, Ron? I was going to say, what's his name? Don't let me forget this man's name. Dropped the album as well. R&B, ball headed from Fast and Furious. Why is his name not coming to my mind right now? Tyrese? Tyrese yeah. dropped an album too. I just saw that. That, that dropped, it dropped last month or when it dropped? I just it saw dropped that this month. Be- Beautiful Pain. It dropped on August 30th. Oh, I miss that. That was a few it, days ago. It's still fresh. I forgot to tell y'all because I was outside. Did you listen I'm to it? I'm not. I didn't listen to the whole thing. I listened to the songs I heard someone else talking about, and it sounded like some old school okay, getting the mood played it. in your bathroom music. It sounds. Let's, let's come back to it. We'll put it on the non mob reviews list. So, starting with Chloe, Trouble in Paradise, me and King did this review. We gave it an 80%. Um, I gave it 76, King gave it an 83. King, are you still listening? Mm-hmm. I listened to my girl earlier. I stream her on it every day. I ain't tired of her yet. She got probably like another month out of me before I want something to do for her. So. I'm still listening. I think I like this album better than In Pieces. Yeah, I haven't liked In Pieces since hmm. the pieces was in, girl. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I mean, like, by, like body, like body, do come on every now and then, and if I'm in oh, the yeah. mood, I'll listen and to the one Miss Yelly. I got that on my workout playlist. I thought I told you, bitch, I'm a soldier. I got that on my. Oh yeah. Playlist. So that'll come on every once in a while. But, but I feel like this that. stuck. I feel like this stuck to me more. I feel like yeah. this is the music that she wanted to do. Yeah. I agree. I don't like, I just don't, the, the label making wasn't there. Like, I hate that, how they do Yeah. It. Yeah. And, and I understand it. It's like, we just talk about from a, from the other side, like, the last whole like, girl, we gave you all this point in what you do. So I feel them. I feel them. They were like, well, we gonna let you do your own thing, and you release what you want to release. I feel them. I, I guess they want to see. But We still talking about Chloe? Yeah, this should have been. Who she signed to? Apple. She I think she's still with Parkwood. Parkwood. Or, yeah, or that's that's Beyonce's Beyonce? label, right? Yeah, and who is Parkwood? I think Parkwood. I think, Parkwood, I think Columbia. it's Columbia. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Really essentially Columbia. So Beyonce and Jay Z kind of split when it comes to because who's Rock Nation's parent company? Um, they you know they Columbia or they Universal? I think they all or, the same thing. Yeah, yeah I think okay. yeah, that's also Columbia. Okay, that's interesting. But, but a lot of people, you know, they always run down on Beyonce by support. But I was like, Beyonce probably running that damn Parkwood shit. She probably got some, uh, some yeah. big executives to run that for her. And she offered her family and recording music. And they probably, Hell, Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce don't promote her own album. music. She like, oh, okay. I was going to say, do she I got experience with promoting her I, music? I, I mean, I, I would say Beyonce has not. gotten to a point where she don't she have don't to have promote to. her music. Yeah. That little Verizon commercial she did was enough yeah, for folks to uh, tune out. Well, the, folks yeah, folks stop enough. watching the game. Folks it's stop watching the game. Photo. Like her promotion is Instagram photos. People be watching her Instagram when she posts a photo. They be shaking like she finna drop they, something. They, so one million, they one, get excited. One million, one million likes off muscle, and it's just a picture of her standing. Yeah. <laughs> do that pose again. Do that pose again. Maybe I don't think Beyonce didn't share that album. She shared her album. <laughs> and that's what we was just talking about. Beyonce don't share her shit. <laughs> she just released. I mean, Beyonce, then, uh, Beyonce wore Beyonce wore a shirt that said Cowboy Carter, and that was the promotion. <laughs> and she went I to like, um. Cool. Then she goes to the Grammys with the cowboy fit on the cowboy head. She but did. That was before, she, but that was before Cow- yeah, Cowboy Carter. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're right. That was yeah. before the damn Verizon commercial. But that was yeah. that, she was confirming the, uh, the suspicions though that she was gonna do a cowboy album though. Yeah, she pop so out she with that cowboy hat too. on. Yeah, yeah. that's all she got to do with that play into it. Mm-hmm. But um, moving on. I to the next think, ad- Yeah, I was for the to say something to say. No, I don't think Beyonce be like. I don't think she be really checked in to all of that for real. Because she's still a moving artist in her sense. So I don't think Beyonce really just in that. Label heavy bag yet to really what she really gonna pour to her artists as much as people think she should. And Cody probably did yeah. want to share, but 
She That's probably was like, I'm like, not begging this bitch for no share either. And I feel that, Chloe, don't beg her for nothing. Go out there and get your own bag. And it's probably what Beyonce want to see. Beyonce probably know if like, I share this girl, you She just dropped up. a whole. Is she even worried about somebody else's yeah, album? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, doing? She, not, she, she going on. Um, like, she probably like, oh, girl, you dropped. I'm going to listen to it. Ain't heard it yet. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I, I would say this. Because say if she isn't checked in with an artist that signed into her. I'm going to be real. I don't know what Beyonce do with these girls. Yeah. I know. She, Lil, Wayne, I Lil Wayne was barely listening. checked in with his artist. Right. But I will say she at least listened because Chloe had to get confirmed that when they dropped their joint album that Beyonce listened to this stuff before they dropped. So I know she at okay. least heard it. That's she at nice. least heard it. But that's probably mm. it. That's probably as far as the wind. Like, oh, girl, that's cute. You dropping that wind. Hurry, mama. <laughs> 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 She'll pop up and give them a I'm hug every now and then. It, the pictures, it's the yeah. pictures. She pops up, she posts a picture with you. Yeah, she posts a picture just your promo. Glorilla and Megan just got some nice promo. The other day. They did, but all right, y'all, we gotta move. We gotta move on to the next album. So the next album we got is Sugar Honey Ice Tea by Lotto. We gave this a fifty nine percent, an average on our scale. I gave it a fifty three. Antoine gave it a sixty one, and Galvin gave it a sixty three. Are y'all still listening? The only song I'm listening mm. to is H and M. Yeah, I can say yeah. I just played H and M when I was. I like squeeze. I like squeezed in H and M, and that's. I gotta it. go back to squeeze. I keep hearing people playing Brokey, and I'm like, I maybe think, that one. I was just my sister. People mad at Brokey. People mad at Brokey. That's the whole thing about Brokey now on TikTok. So they mad at Lotto for that. They say it's a recession, and we can't. They were like, we can't identify with that. And I felt them. I can't call no now bitch bro. I can't think of my shit. Oh. I can't Lotto. I can't <laughs> <laughs> my my sister like Brokey. Yeah, I, like when I hear it playing, I'm like, okay, that's not so bad. Yeah, but the girls made a lot of for that. But yeah, H and M is probably the only one I go back to for real. I'm not I, actively picking any of the songs. Like if I hear it, I ain't mad at it. But I'm I don't think I added any of them to my playlist. Fair, like it's not a bad album, yeah. but but I've already but I guess I'm a little bit biased because I already said maybe I said this in the last episode or like the episode before <laughs> first hit sub episode is that it takes me a minute to digest Lotto's mm. music. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Lotto, but it takes me a minute to digest. I, I was just gonna say I don't know and I love my sister down. I want her to be the best she can be. It's just a disconnect with Lotto and the general public. It's just a lot of you it's something missing. Even with the last album, it was something missing there that just people just couldn't like I don't know what the people couldn't attach on. Like with Megan I mean, we had something to like leave that leash on to Mamushi and drug that bitch to the ground. Lotto, you ain't get people nothing to leave. What they did leech on to was broken and they made about that. I feel like a lot of her music kind of is similar to like it's Yeah. I don't know. I, I didn't hear a lot of I don't remember variety. A lot of variety. Yeah. Mm -hmm, I, her would album. I would agree with Chase's comment. He just said Lotto comes off corny sometimes. And I and I would agree. Yeah, I would say that. I would I agree. Say that. Be more, be more. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't play that. But when it comes on, I'm about it. I like what she said like that at the end. But yeah. yeah. She yeah, she can't be a bit corny to me. I don't know. That's I would agree. But I want but I want Lotto to win though, because she's talented. She can rap though. And I just I hate for some yeah. girls. Like, y'all got yeah. this talent. Do we like Lotto. Do That's the thing, like, like Lotto with Lotto. With Lotto, I want her to expand more. And I know we say that about every female artist, but I really want to give Lotto more time to grow. Like, yeah. I think I've heard enough Megan The Stallion's albums to where I see the route that she's going to, Good. but mm -hmm. I don't know where Lotto's going after she dropped this album. Like, I, mean, I feel like I want to play Devil's Advocate. Ryan. How much time is going to get her? Because she, she got, like, three albums out. She's but didn't she rebrand? Because didn't you tell me that she was using this to rebrand? It's another this big mama. Okay, what they be you saying? Know, last, you know, last yeah. era she would lotto the whole lucky you lucky and the whole because we know by she would lotto be you know you hit the lottery now she big mama she in the trenches that's why she was washing the car I mean, with the big rims like they do in the lab. Because when we look at albums, seven 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 counts as her second album, and then what's the first one? Would that be Queen of the South? Would be her first one? Open it up and how many songs on there? I think so. Yeah, that's when she dropped the deluxe for and it had 13. Because I like Queen of the South. Queen of the South is what made me yeah. go, I like her. I like her Atlanta samples. That's, that's I like that she's coming with some aggression and some bravado. 777 kind of was a little bit of a switch up, but I still I still like it. 
Oh, you said he, what? Oh, he misspelled it. He oh, I was going to say sage. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought he was trying to be shady, queen of the sour? <laughs> <laughs> so how much time we going to give this girl? Because we, we was just talking about how Megan time, how time taking girl. If you don't give us something else next roll out. Well, how many albums does Meg get? Ain't, is she at like four Megan, or five now? Official albums, Meg at three. Duh, she she had three two. Was good her news? Was good news was out. Yeah, good news was her yeah. debut album. Good news was the debut. <laughs> and now she Wait. Megan. So Fever ain't count as an album? Yep. Yeah, With Pimpin and saying. Cash. That's oh, really? Saying. Yeah, her debut was good news. I yeah. did not like that album. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. Those are full fledged projects, even if they are mixtapes, though. King. But you know, all mixtapes are full fledged projects, though. Look at all Wayne mixtapes he got. Fair, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I would. And that's another conversation Wayne, they had. Wayne is almost celebrated too. as a mixtape artist. So that's why I'm that's like. That's a different conversation, though, because a lot of people can't distinguish it to because now all the streaming services, you know, you got Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, everybody put their shit on the same stuff. Now, back in the day, we had different services like, okay, we go to Spirilla. And this for my mixtapes mix app and all yeah. that. Now it's getting harder to the butt. Those, according to her, are like mixtapes. Because I feel like Meg is a lot more settled in into the music industry in comparison to a lot of like even it's. I've been seeing Meg at like as a highlight for different concerts for years people, now. I don't know. A lot of, a lot of wasn't on these concert lineups. She's been like 16, 17. A lot of them rapping for I would say a lot of them rapping for the mean. But you know, but I, but that's what I'm saying. Like Meg was on concert lineups when we was she first out of college. He commer- she just think he commercial status. Yeah, and that's what I'm, she. I guess that's what she's still trying to do because she ain't got the commercial what, like all the rest. When of the we say when, when would you say she hit commercial? About three year, two three years ago, two year go two Meg, year mark. I mean, Lotto probably just hit commercial probably big energy when she got that Mariah Carey feature for that remix. And that's that what I'm saying. Meg been commercial yeah. for some time now. Like, Meg saying, in terms is more established, in my opinion, compared to Lotto. But Lotto been out here making music for a little minute, though. So it's like, how much yeah. like, how much time are we going to get the girls? Because I'm I sorry, agree though. I'm sorry. Six, seven years in the game, my fave was a legend. She was an icon. Year six, seven, Miss Minaj was an icon. We already had Pink Friday okay. and so how much time are we gonna give the girls? We can't give them excuses no more because now which I feel like it's gonna be a lot of variety there. I don't like I don't I don't feel like we're I, gonna see too much difference. I feel like they're just not fully, fully clicking yet. Cause you would expect these artists to be bigger than where they are. I just feel like they're not yeah. something hasn't is, just yeah. fully clicked it, yet. Is Lotto really putting in the work to be that big though? Do, I would say she we, is though. In the work she is. is. I would say Lava been like she. I ain't gonna say she like Lava been putting in her work. She be in the studio dropping music. She be doing her thing. But I don't know like what's the disconnect I don't, though. I don't, I don't see Lava like like I don't see her presence as much as I see some of the other girls like just so trying guess, to be out guess, there and doing stuff. I guess stuff. what are I guess what are we saying? Like what's what's the bottom line of what we saying? Because we still got a couple albums to talk about. Basic, I, like maybe it's because I wasn't here for the um last conversation because I had a drop, but I'm like when it comes to these female rappers, it seems like they all plateau at a certain point. I don't know if that's sales numbers or even just notoriety. Where it's like, why why aren't some of the top ones like Lotto and Meg just pushing past that envelope right now? We was just like I we was just asking you could have been part of the conversation. You'd have been yeah. We just yeah. Marketing and business cycle. We just asked the same question because why aren't y'all selling a hundred k first week? Cause, Cause like none of them are like if I had to do a comparison and I'm gonna get off of it because I know we gotta do the albums food. There you go, but like if you, that, 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 yeah, we, yeah we that's exactly what we said. said. That's exactly what we said, and not enough variety. Cause that's what I'm thinking. Like, ain't none of them like line like like the bold at the top for that day's lineup at Rolling Loud yet. None of them at this moment. It's still Nikki. None of them can get to that mark. They're still like line. Hasn't two Doja? Hasn't Doja had like? Well, we say I don't put Doja. Doja in that same category. Yeah, we, we just said that. We said the same thing. We said the same thing. We don't put Doja. Doja, 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 Doja the laying on herself. Do- like Doja raps, but she's not a yeah. rap girly. She's not. I say, I, I say, we don't look at her this because she's so much musically, so much more musically talented than the rest of the new rap girls. Like you can't compare Doja and Meg. You just can't because Doja's on another level with her shit. Like. She's taking to yeah. another level. Doja falls into that category. She's not a rap girly. She's just a good artist. Like yeah, she's, she's just genuinely artist, a good yeah. artist. Mm-hmm. That made that made a rap album. Yeah, she made exactly. 
I pink, she was rapping on a little bit on Hot Pink too and Amala, but that's a different conversation. She rapped, yeah, yeah. Okay, you, but you yeah, the bottom line your... was it was the disconnect for me. Like there's a disconnect with Lotto on her music. That was my bottom line. I'm trying to figure out what that disconnect yeah. is for Lotto. That's your third album, Sissy. And uh-huh. what she did, 29k. Yeah, I think that things. I think that. Yeah, that photo said 29k. Dang, so it was 27 for JT, 28 for Ice Spice, and 29 for. Twenty eight yeah. for Sexy Red and twenty. Got ice Spice though. Uh, she can't say that. Ice Spice. She, she got, got Ice Spice. But in JT, this was her first solo independent album outside of City what Girls, we right? Said too. Like, how was JT? Right? Yeah. How is JT? At the, how is she? Goes you would think JT like, would. She... JT, City Girls was big even was in college. You would have think JT would have did bigger from a monetary standpoint. I just feel. I just feel like all the hype, the the social media hype to the albums don't track. Yeah, and that's what. And shout out to my boy Zach Kemp. He said that them hit tweets don't never translate over to hit records and albums. And I, said, I was like, you said it because they don't. You get one million likes on that tweet, but when it come out of that stream, or that vibe, I want to see. You want to know who I want to compare them to? I want to see when Cardi drops this album if she ever drops it. I want to see her numbers. Cause like she's kind of in that middle port between well, Nikki and the other art girlies. If she don't sell, I'm gonna be concerned. I feel like commercially, I feel like I feel like Cardi's numbers are gonna be up there. Mm-hmm. Cause she's waited so long, and now it's like this build all this anticipation. Mm-hmm. Now whether it's good or not is a different question. But she's gonna be a different story. <laughs> that's gonna be that's really what I'm saying. Yeah. It's different, but now it's gonna hit. Cardi, because it makes right now, yeah. She gonna easily. I predict that Cardi be easily pull one thing K. Okay. Now I did was thinking that Maddie would have easily put one hundred k, and she did. So maybe, so maybe hey, drop that down Cardi, a couple, like fifty k. Yeah, Cardi get up there and don't, now. Cardi get up there and don't pull at least hundred k. They gonna man. Yeah, they, they, gonna yeah. they gonna dog out. They gonna dog out. You got too many years here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, y'all. We gotta move. On. We gotta move on to the next album. So the next album that we had was Sincere by Khalid. We gave me and Antoine was on this. We gave this a sixty percent overall. Antoine, are you still listening? I'm listening to my really it's just one song. I got three songs on my playlist, and if they pop up, I'm gonna listen to them. But sometimes, but other than that, not for real. I got my one song, and that and, and, and like Antoine, if the other ones come up, I'll listen to it. But some didn't translate for me. <laughs> some, something did not trans. Yeah, something yeah. did not translate for me, and I have really had to you know take a you know sit back and be like, am, 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 is it just me? Am I not really a Khalid fan? I got Adore You. That's the only one that got to say. Adore You. I got Adore yeah. You. And everything we see in this one more um, in altitude. I'll listen to I'm, them when they come on. But that's that's it. Well, we got Ryan's two mob reviews. We're going to start with Algorithm by Lucky Day. Ryan, you gave this a 95%. Are you still listening? That's still a beautiful album. I don't care what nobody say. That is a beautiful album. Very beautiful. And that's all I can say about Lucky Day. Like l- lyrically, he goes into his bag. He mixes. He he does do the love stuff. I, he ain't really get too deep into his toxic bag. The production is quality. One song still. I I don't know if I said it last time. One song does sound like a Bruno Mars song, but. I actually liked it. I liked it a lot. And Lucky Day is still in my rotation. I think he's kind of trying something new from, say, um, Painted and Candy Drip in terms of he is doing more upbeat, a mix of poppy sounds. He is getting more into that. He's always been kind of contemporary R&B, and he does have a lot more contemporary elements in it, but he still has to slow you setting the mood music in there as well, and it all just vibes well with me, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Only about one, two, three, Three, four songs ain't making into my playlist. The other ten, because it's a fourteen song album, all got saved. I rock with it. Okay. I listened to it during one of the long drive. It was it was cool. It's nice, nice album. And then the last mob review we got is "Endless Night" by Meta. This is Ryan's. You gave it a seventy three percent solid. Are you still listening? I'm not listening to it. I love Meta. "Endless Night" did come on because I think. None of, her, none of her songs are on my playlist. I had that shuffle where you got the star on and Endless Night played, like, the song Endless Night. And I was like, I still don't hate it. It's just, this this project can't hit, me, hit for me. 
I want her to drop another full project. I'm still going to be one of the first people to go listen to it. Maybe it just ain't resonate with me, but I mm -hmm. still love her voice. I still love the production quality. She still sounds amazing. It just ain't hit for me. And you know, I really appreciate it because, you know, some people be scared to say it about people that they like. They, they'll try to lie. Say, oh, it was good. It was good. But if something just ain't in it, just... It just ain't yeah. nothing. It just didn't hit like, something. Some stuff speak. just don't resonate. Yeah, some, some stuff just don't yeah. resonate with people. <clears throat> that's what I'm saying like e even with the album cover like in terms of marketing it sounds like a girl surrounded by lights walking through this big luxury building and you just hear the vibes but it just I love her sound but this didn't hit like what's the album when I hear your name it didn't hit like that album it didn't hit like that I heard some pain in that I heard some I'm trying to get hugged at night that that sex oh, song where she's like I miss my you want to be home that night, Ron? You resonated with that. I, I, I like I like cuddling a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> uh, I'm you ain't nothing wrong with that. I resonated with that. I think she dropped the turn of sunshine, so I ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm still checking for Mada. She has one of the most beautiful voices out right now, and a lot of people need to need to listen to her. But I'm waiting for the next project. All right. Okay. So let's get into our non-mob reviews. Like I said before, we got Quantum Baby by Tanache, Short and Sweet by Sabrina Carpenter, Alligator Bites Never Heal by Dochi, and Better Me Than You by Big Sean. And then, Ron, what's the name of the Tyrese album? Let me pull it back up. Let me pull it back up. Beautiful Pain. Beautiful Pain. All right. He okay. That sounds like it might be something in there. Look, he dipped into his bag. Look. I know we keep it about the music, but this album, the pain that he's talking about is that divorce. We've seen him crying on the breakfast club. We've seen all these interviews. He gave what y'all been wanting from these R and B artists in terms of I'm jaded. I'm upset. I'm going through real issues. And he put it in his music and it sound good. Okay. It sounds good. I need to give it a full, this full. Woman, this is woman who was crying, baby, come back type of. No, nah, he said I. He... Too, when they be in the rain crying, I saw the woman tell me I love you. And, and kneeling, the... kneeling in the rain in their jeans. Yeah. <laughs> My <laughs> jeans. Hey, this, this ain't no, I want you to come back. I'm in the rain. This is, mm -hmm. I'm outside the Waffle House crying because you ruined my life. Ooh, smoking like, a cigarette. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's right. it's okay. one of the it hit though it hit though okay <laughs> it hit okay. I I need to give it a full wow. listen so I can drop a review and I can yeah. listen because I was just picking out different songs based on features and recommendations I'm gonna give it a full listen but I think y'all will vibe with it if y'all want that old R and B okay okay I really like Doshi's album yeah I like or, or or mixtape I, 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 I know she's calling yeah, it a mixtape yeah. I gotta, uh, I gotta go back and finish it. But so far, I like, I like the vibe that it's giving. It's giving what? It's giving real life. What's that type of rap pocket? Would you call it like speakeasy rap? Like that type of rap? Like the I get on the mic and they got the little guitar real low. And real Poetic rap. Earth, earthy yeah, rap. Okay. Poetic. That's what it's giving. Like it's giving like. He's, he says speakeasy rap. And she starts talking like I like it. I'm like, okay, though. She's giving me. Let me what they do with the things after they get done with the poem. They snap. Oh, they snap. Oh, yeah. They snap. <laughs> they snap. Yes, don't you? Yeah, but I, I like it. Style, but I like it. For Quanta Baby, Quanta Baby was actually a good little short little album. I watched, I listened to it with, when I watched that Campbell video when he did his review on it. Um, and I listened to it then, but that was really nice. In the words of him, it's a nice, you know, garden album. So if you plant your garden like I do, it's a nice album to listen to while you're doing it. Yeah. Are, are we going to address the elephant in the room? Because I do want to drop a review for it. I do want to drop a review for it once I give it another listen, but are we going to address Sean? it? Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. down to drop a review if y'all are. I got to... Okay. To this, this, to this, this is what happened. This is what happened. Because I need to go back and listen to the whole thing. But I got three songs in. And I was like, this really... Nothing felt different about it. I got three songs in, and nothing felt different about it from his other projects. And... Go keep ahead. Going. Go keep, ahead. No, you keep going. You keep I, going. I said I only listened to three songs, and that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. About one, two, three, four, five, six, and song two and three are in that six are what got added to my playlist. But I like Big Sean. It ain't hit. I like this Big Sean too, but at the same time, 
he ain't doing I guess nothing. I guess like how we were talking about with the rap girls or like with variety and stuff. Like I get through the first three songs and then you sound you sound this it sounds the same. It's like it, it's it even the intro, even the intro just it didn't grab me enough. And here and here's what I'll say. Cause like you you said when you was doing that thing where you was going through a lot of folks' discographies, was Big Sean one of them? Like, did you go back and listen to Detroit too? Yeah, when I when I did yeah. that run through, I listened to Detroit, Detroit too. Yeah, I got caught it, up. It sounds like a polished, but now I got my life together version of Detroit too. But it still don't it don't even hit as good as Detroit too. Mm -hmm. Like I felt like the even and y'all know I'm a I'm not not as lyric heavy as you guys. I do like the sound of stuff. Even when it came to the production quality, I was like these beats ain't just they ain't given. It seems like you're doing a lot. I see your audio engineers being a little experimental, but it ain't really hit like I want it to. And I was like, I would just rather go listen to Detroit 2, Double or Nothing. Shoot, I liked I Decided. I liked I Decided a lot. I don't hear enough people talk about it. I, I'm going to go back and listen to your other albums because this one ain't do it for me. A few songs came, and I'm not going to pick them out specifically. I, in my I feel like a lot I'm of a, music I'm... is going to sound the same on there. I felt it. I'm gonna go back and listen to it in full, but it really the I got into them first three songs and nothing was sticking out for me. I don't know if it was just like I wasn't in the uh right head space to listen to Big Sean at, at the moment or like what, but like it was not some something was missing. That oh god, oh god, that's what was missing. <laughs> I told you. I told you that's exactly what was missing. Uh, uh, that's what's missing. And Sage, I need to go back and watch our review because I've been I've missed out on a few of y'all's album reviews. But I'm gonna say this, Galvin. It didn't sound like he was hungry. Like when he was on his oh god, like I saw someone talk about Big Sean's tonality, and I didn't think about it at first, but it didn't sound like he's just hungry as a rapper anymore. It doesn't sound like he's trying yeah, to chase it. Don't yeah, it don't that's sound like he was upset. Yeah, yeah, that's a dangerous place to be in as a rapper. Cause I feel like that's how Nikki was during the Queen era. I don't feel like even though I do like that album, I don't feel like she yeah, it, it's. Oh, I feel that. I feel that. It, it sounds like he settled in. It's like he yeah, sees his place. I, like I ain't trying to compete with the big three. Y'all tried to include me and think that my precision was a diss at Kendrick or whether it was a diss at Kanye. It really sounds like I ain't with that. I'm chilling. I'm right here. And I'm not mad at that, Big Sean. I'll still go see you in concert. I ain't paying as much as I pay for some of these other artists. But I will see you in concert. But if rap is a competitive game and it seems like you done pretty much gave up, you ain't really got to drop all this. <laughs> Yeah. You can I, I think I, I, think I would just, agree with that. Maybe it's maybe just like he's just, just chilling, you know. Just chilling and want to drop music. Maybe we, yeah. you know, maybe, maybe some maybe of the rappers don't want to, you know, get in the ring and yeah. fight and spar with the rest of their peers. Like, you know? This ain't got to be but, a number one. I just had fun making an album. Maybe it was something like that. Right. I just, I just got something to say real quick. Maybe it was one yeah. of those. Yeah. But let me say this. And that was <laughs> right. it. <laughs> but it's like, my whole thing is, and Sage is saying we're giving him too much grace. I am a Big Sean fan, and I'm one of those people who's like, oh my gosh, if people invested in him, if Kanye didn't do his BS, and it didn't, I don't want to say it was blackballed. I don't know the business standards back then. But when I go listen to I Decided, Dark Sky Paradise, and Double or Nothing, I don't care. I thought Double or Nothing had some hits, even though it was a smaller project. He had room to be one of the big ones out. I still think, I thought that back then. This album makes me go, let me shut up. Shut my fat ass up and be quiet when y'all talk about it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I, this album make me do. I, it's like, I can't like y'all ain't finna beat me in an argument. I'm just I'm gonna bow out before y'all beat me I, I in an argument. <laughs> the I feel you. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and listen to it, but I don't, well, I, I don't, when did got? he say that, Sage? Uh, he said he said that say. recently. That he deserves to be in the big three. Big Sean? Not with that album. Not with that album. Not with that album. Big, because that's another conversation I feel like we can have on the future here stuff. Like, so when we say big three, like, we're going to do it in like errors or like. Big I Sean is J. Cole's era, though. though. Wasn't they in the same Yeah, Big, XL yeah, big Sean thing? Big Sean came out at the same but you time know, as J. Cole. Some people feel like different eras have their big threes. Like, some people go, some people say Drake. But they in the Drake same, and, but they say. Cole the big three now, but some people don't feel like that. Some people feel like Gunna Baby and what's the other nigga name? In today's time, they the big three. So it's just how you would look at Gunna. it. 
Ghana Ghana is still on the come up, and he him and Lil Baby hit a rise to fame, but Lil Baby plateaued off in like an album or yeah. two ago. Ain't nobody talking yeah, I... about Lil Baby. Ghana's relevant, but and people check for him, but it's almost getting to the point where he almost feels niche. For me, for me, it feels like that. I don't know if it's the yeah, stuff with um thug. The big three. I... Big Sean, I feel like if he was on his Dark Sky Paradise, I Decided Energy with Bounce Back and all them different types of songs, if he was on that vibe, I feel like if he stayed consistent, he would be up there. But he know. slowed down. I don't think Big Sean top Big Three in any era, honestly. He is this I one. don't think. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I never Sean. saw I never saw him. I never saw him oh, up God. there. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, oh, God. Oh, God. Like, he, he made good music, but it's not like a... He not competing with anybody that's trying to yeah. be number one or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. It, it's just it's disappointing. It's disappointing. Like me, me and Foop will be in college when when I ain't have no car and she was driving me around. We'll be bumping. We was bumping her Dark truck. Sky Paradise and I decided back to back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her truck. We was bumping that back to back. With the little tape thing that you put in for the ops. I remember that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> We didn't get out of blue suit. I don't know. I I'ma try. I'll do that. I'll, I I'm will a, try I'm gonna go get listen to it. Yeah, I'm gonna go but it, it was the yeah. first. The first three songs. I was like, okay. But I also it's say, a, go ahead. All I'm gonna say is not horrible. It's just you went to nice. Thanksgiving and an auntie who don't make the best mac and cheese cooked it and it's like it's good you gonna mix some no, cornbread no, 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 like, no, no no like, it ain't that no it's it's the mac it's, and cheese that ain't the best but you're not mad at it king like you hungry it's like, it's like regular hungry. day mac and, mac and cheese it's not Thanksgiving mac and cheese some of it, you, okay y'all yeah. we losing the, we losing the plot we losing the plot we losing the plot it's the mac and cheese you gotta mix up a little we losing the plot we losing the plot Sabrina, though, even though shout out to my girl Sabrina, she went number one today. That's the big controversy on Twitter because if you look at her number compared to Travis' number, it the math don't matter in my head either. But I ain't gonna speak on it because I don't know how to calculate. But Sabrina got a nice little eye. I like short and sweet. Good it's grace. Nice. It's nice. I gotta go back and listen to because the last half I was kind of tuned out doing other stuff, so I'm gonna go back and listen. But it was good graces is my yeah. shit though. That's that's what like, it does stand I out. I think the one that I remember. Is, is it tasty or is it taste? Taste. That's the first taste. album. I like taste, and I like the video with her and Jenna Ortega. Okay. When I when I big when I big when I went back and listened to the songs y'all recommended, like what's funny, I'm going back to like the stuff y'all mentioned, like a hit spot of last month. I was like, oh, espresso and some of them songs do kind of hit. Not gonna lie, I was like, okay, I just need to dip into her as an artist and really sit down and indulge in her music. What's Sabrina do? If y'all side with Sabrina and y'all call yourself the blurred mom. Did she use the N-word or something? What's Sabrina do? I guess because she would white. All of them. Everybody raised the I mean, right there. But I mean, we Did talked about Ariana on the last one. Yeah. Oh, he talking what? about Dr. Umar. Right. Listen, listen, not listen. Not the thing about this, you know, they mad because they feel like Travis should have went number one. And with the, and how the numbers look, how they look to me. Yeah, I don't know how they it. Who's still listening to Travis? Travis how, how, hey, no, hold on. Hold on. Travis has no, no, no. Like, like, pure sales on his album. And I'm not talking about all the other cool streams. Outside of streams, Travis Scott had three, over 330K pure motherfuckers. Off that Utopia album? The Which one album? Just released, the, the one that, one that, that he just dropped. Though. That motherfucker got over 300K pure sales. Which is why everybody confused on how the fuck is he number two if Sabrina only got a hundred and some K pure sales. Travis Scott. Travis no. Scott? Travis Scott. What no. album? What album? I'm not seeing nothing. I forgot Which what it's called, but I did see Travis some Travis songs. Like, yeah, Travis you dropped the album. You dropped your came from 2023. I'm not saying. He dropped it. It was a 10-year-old mixtape. He redropped it on streaming. Basically how Nicki dropped uh, Beat Me Up Scotty a couple oh, years ago. But that motherfucker should steal over 300k for sales. And I'm like, what the fuck that, is this? Let me know, Sage. Are you talking about Days Before Rodeo? Because I am yeah, I don't days, recognize that cover. It's, it's Days Before Rodeo. 
Okay, I ain't talking smack for if any Travis Scott fans get it. I just didn't know. I was like, Utopia ain't hit for real. Come on now. I didn't drop the new album until today when they were, everybody was on Twitter running their mouth about the different numbers and stuff. Okay, because okay, I was like, if y'all buying some albums, where? Like, y'all buying Utopia? After World Big came that's, out, I was confused. They bought that motherfucker that was, uh, I don't know. I saw, I, I was saw, like, I was like, so I saw him trending for, like, I don't remember what the song was, but I saw a song trending. I just ain't listened to it yet. I don't think Eminem mm. just did that. I was 300 and some K pure sales. That mean 300 and some K pure CDs was bought. I thought you said Eminem did like 200. I thought Eminem did like 200 K. Yeah. But I think Eminem did like 3K, 300 K, like including streams and sales. But like just strictly CD, like this, like be. albums, Travis Scott did over 300 K, yeah. not including streams. That is the one okay. I saw trending. Oh. Drugs, you should try it. I saw that one trending. Well, okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give it a yeah, listen. I up. I didn't I didn't know I didn't but know. Yeah, yeah, that's the tea about Miss Sabrina, and she was on Twitter talking about this one for Nikki because the whole gag is back when last time Travis dropped the album, Nikki dropped one, and he blocked Nikki from going number one, and she was number two, and now Sabrina mm-hmm. on that time out, she did it for Nikki because she blocked. I was like, girl, y'all need too much, but in short, it was a nice little cute album. I like it. I yeah. like it. I, I I really liked Expresso, and then when she came out with Please, 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 and yeah. I don't like Please, 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 and I was like, <laughs> now I'm not excited. But then when I got into it, like, I like Taste, then we got into Good Grace. Good Graces gave me that skater vibes, like, we're mm-hmm. we gonna slide through. I like Bad Kim. I was gonna say, yeah, Bad Kim was the one I was talking about. That was a good one. Oh. So. Okay, and to respond to Sage, only because he talking... Birds and Trap was my introduction to Travis Scott, and I went back and listened to Rodeo. So I wasn't per- familiar with any projects that came before those. No, I ain't trying to diss Travis if that if that's how it came off. I know he Ron, fine. Ron said Travis Scott. Yeah, you because it, it, who checking for him? It, 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 it's so dope. I can't lie. I was like, I said the same. I was like, damn, I'm still checking for Travis. Like, I ain't heard nothing from Travis. <laughs> Because I'm like, if he dropped a new album, I know that should have popped up on my timeline, but I know y'all ain't buying Utopia. Like, not 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 bumping it like that in 2024. No, y'all I think, not. I think Travis Scott maybe just had enough hits in the past that people were just, when he dropped something, they just, he gonna have to have, at least, maybe they at least one thing up. that's good. Goddamn. I'm, I, I might not. Negative. When he re-relates no ceilings on stream, he ain't do 300 so okay. <laughs> 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 Damn, he I feel like, but I feel like. Maybe I'm Scotty. Bimmy and Scotty didn't do 300 K. She did like 90 no, some K. And no ceilings was missing songs. They didn't even have an ice cream yeah. paint job on there. She and I'm like, yeah. See, and that's how they didn't do the numbers. She had a good shit. But you know, the team yeah. is the artist wasn't, wasn't really wasn't clearing that shit. Beyonce didn't clear that yeah, shit. Yeah, Beyonce wasn't clearing that sample. Yeah, Look, she ain't clearing that shit now. Like, she ain't playing. Doro, Doro, however you pronounce his name, he know Lil Wayne's ice cream paint job was the better version. I'm sorry. It That's is why he ain't clear it. That's exactly why. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. That's why he ain't clear it. And that's how I'll be I'm saying clear that version of Sweet Dreams because, I mean, mm-hmm. you just giving Young Money right here. Like, yeah. Every time I hear the beat. Well, she like, keep so, that on YouTube. Keep that on YouTube. What she say, as a white bear. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to keep that on YouTube, baby. That was yeah. <laughs> well. Hmm. I, I do know people do love Travis Scott, though. Yeah, I just... But, He's he's kind of worldwide. He's he's pretty. I think he's pretty popular yeah. like, internationally, like big time. So I know I a lot of people been like Travis for Travis Scott. since he let them people them people die at that concert you had. They got trampled in that big ass herd or that riot that happened. Come on, the really stuff. They, 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 was, they was they was cutting up. He even cut up on when he came out on uh, what the game Fortnite when he did that concert. Yeah. He, he's been so he's, he, he is he is big. It's just it, it's like I know he big. It's just I. Like when Utopia dropped, I was like, "This in no way compares to Astro World." And I and the only song that really stuck out to me was the Drake feature, and even that wasn't just hitting. Like I now I liked his him being Come featured on Don Toliver's like album. Like a yeah, like I, do, I will say that is a good point, Ryan. I do like when he does his features, though. Yeah, all of his features have been fire Scott, lately. Yeah, when I see features Travis Scott, I'm like, oh, yeah. God, I know he's gonna bring the vibe. Yeah, because so. when was the la- mm-hmm. what was the last biggest Travis Scott song that y'all could say that y'all really was just like bumping? Like a light. <laughs> <laughs> I I hate to say this because I'm I'm gonna say sicko mode in Yosemite. Sicko mode, yeah. 
I, I hate to say, say it because Utopia ain't hit. Honestly, my favorite Travis Scott song, and it's not even his song, it's one baby with Miguel. What's that song called? Um, oh, you made with Miguel. Um, what's the song mm. Not, not Isn't Skywalker. Like a, yeah, Skywalker. Oh, no, no, it's Skywalker. It's Skywalker. Yeah. Okay. Skywalker was good. Skywalker was really yeah. good. good. Okay. And I like his features on the Don Oliver album. I'm gonna have to listen to the album because I, I do hope he has something good on there because. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not mad at Travis Scott's music. It's just, mm-hmm. yeah, I like yeah, his vibes. Right. I, I like the yeah. like the the wavy vibes he brings to the song. I really do like that much. Right yeah. Now. All right, y'all. So, so if you if, if you, you wanted if you if you, if you wanted if you wanted to go solo and distinguish yourself, but if you if you really look at the album, there's only one song in that album that could be a City Girls album song. And that's Uncle Al. I can see that. I can't, I can't see Carisha on none of them other songs. That-